hello in this video i will show you how to highlight rows with check boxes you can check and uncheck boxes let's see the check boxes how we can create the check boxes we created the check boxes with the font windings we go to insert and click on symbols select the font windings and select both checked and unchecked insert then you can copy and paste to remaining rows we have a row starting from d6 to d13 here so the value of the rows for the unchecked here in the formula bar and checked also in the formula bar please note this then just i am copying this this one this the checked values then i am just copying selecting this uh, rows and their rows from d6 to g13 okay and i'm going to conditional formatting click on new rule and use formula here we need to highlight whatever checkboxes rows we have to highlight it so just i mean d6 starting from d6 here i lock the column but unlock the cells because we need from d6 to d13 is equal to the checked value of the checkboxes all right now what i'm going to do here i'm going to format and click on bold and fill the blue color okay then again i am going to change the color font color also here as white All right so when we ch click check the boxes it should be the row should be with the blue background and white font all right then we can go to developer just see the code which i have written here see the worksheet change when this change when the row change right so we have to choose this worksheet selection change then if not intersect is nothing then d6 to d13 is here two negatives means one positive that means d6 to d13 when we select d6 to d13 that is the target right the next column we can see target dot count greater than one then exit sub in case we select more than one rows then there should be an error in order to avoid error i mentioned as exit sub there so let's see here see error displays in order to avoid error we just use here one more if with this code then we have to mention the value if target dot value wherever highlighted row okay then is checked then it should be unchecked otherwise it's checked very simple we know i have no, i already explained that noted the two values of the check boxes then we can check the select all buttons okay go to developer and click on insert form control form control select that check box and insert over there all right name as check box one i have mentioned that you can mention your own names right i just mentioned the name as select all okay so i am bolding this item right then go to developer i have created one module here module name as check you can mention your own name 
with sheet one first code if checkbox one dot checkbox checkbox one dot value is equal to one if it's unchecked one means unchecked then it should be checked okay if it's unchecked checkbox one means select all check button is unchecked then it's checked otherwise unchecked all right see i'm writing here just note what i am writing here so that you can understand if it's unchecked means the value here as 1 means unchecked so not the value of the checkbox one that we created from for in developer insert form control all right so mention the range d6 to d13 where we have mentioned our check boxes right so we can close the end if and end with right then we have to assign the macro over here go to there our macro name is sub macro name as check all so select that one Okay, already I have I have assigned there so no need to assign again all right I hope you understand the video Please subscribe for more videos.